Mother Street's gonna catch that tomorrow. I see y'all, but I see beyond y'all. There's something more. There was something more massive. There was something bigger beyond what we are sitting in. Beyond what you are sitting by. There was something bigger. There was something greater. Who am I talking to in this place? There was something more massive. The level of blessing that God wants to give to you is bigger than what you have dreamed. It's bigger than what you have hoped. It's bigger than what you have imagined. It's bigger than what it looks like. Mm. So Nikki, I have to discipline myself when I don't see it initially. Because I'm not going to allow what I don't see to intimidate what I heard. I know what he said. I know what he said. And just because I don't see it initially, I'm not going to throw away my confidence Mm. As if it was a light thing because I didn't see it the first time that I prayed. The devil is a liar. You have prayed too much. You have cried too much. You have endured too much. You have suffered too much. You've been without too long to allow what did not happen as quick as you wanted it to throw away your confidence. I'm not going to treat what he said. This is Mother Black. That's a light thing. Ted says, the servant comes back and he says, I see it. I see a cloud rising from the sea, the size of a man's hand. Why is this prophetic? It's symbolic first and prophetic secondarily. What you are about to see God do in your life, listen very carefully, it's going to rise. It's going to rise so you can see it ascend. You are going to see it coming. And just because you see it coming from afar off and it looks small doesn't mean that it doesn't carry a punch. Thank you. I want you to become so discerning and so perceptive that you do not negate, you don't constrain, you don't confine, you don't, uh, you don't disrespect the signs of the thing that you see in the distance. Everything in the distance looks small. Yes, it does. All right. It's not until it gets up to you that you see the for see the signs for what it is. I'm standing in something Deacon Street said as an incubator. Mother Streets, typically when preemies or newborns come through the birth canal and they have challenges, they have complications. The doctors will put them in an incubator. And the incubator is not the place of their destination. That's right. It is not the place that they are to stay. But it is the place for them to become stable and recover. And when they get strong enough, they are removed from the incubator. And I don't know who I'm talking to in this building, but you have been in the incubator. And God says, I have to put you in an incubator called a famine, called a drought. Till you got strong enough, till you got disciplined enough, till you got big enough that you can come out of the incubator and step into everything that I told you you can have. And I come to announce in this house that the sound of the abundance of rain is now in this place and is over you. And that is the melody of this season. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. Despite what I see, I hear. Despite what people are saying, I hear. Despite what I'm thinking, I hear. I hear. I hear. I hear. 